It doesn't matter who you think you are because there's no doubt that the state of disbelief is going to creep into your mind at one point or another in your life, in your day, and in your week, in your months, and your years. We all deal with it. Nobody is immune to the fact of feeling a, some sort, some sense of disbelief in themselves. And this is what holds so many people back. And it might not even be your own disbelief. It might be the disbelief that others have in you that ends up persuading your decision to go for what you really truly want. And therefore, their disbelief into you causes you to also have a disbelief. Let me give you an example. When I got into real estate, my mom, out of love, didn't want to see her boy get hurt, her son Zach, and she didn't want to see him get hurt, right? So my mom asked me, Zach, are you sure you want to do real estate? You know there's no guarantee of a paycheck in real estate, right? And I said, yeah, mom, I know, I know. However, that small little subtle caring statement that my mom made because she was trying to look out for me, that may have been a little bit of disbelief that I needed to not succeed in real estate. And nobody does it out of, out of not loving you or not wanting you to do good. Obviously, some people don't want you to do good. Most people might not want you to do good. But your closest family, your mom, your dad, your, your closest family, most likely want you to do good in life. Now, this disbelief, no matter who says it, even if nobody tells you, even if somebody tells you that you're destined to, do, to have greatness, you're going to be everything, you're, you can do anything you want, you're still going to have disbelief creep into your little mindset. And the problem is, how the hell do you overcome the state of disbelief that you're not good enough, that you can't do it, that you can't make that happen? How do you overcome that? Well, I'll tell you what I do. I can't tell you for yourself, but I'll tell you what I do. I write down, I write down all my things that I think are, un, are, are impossible. Back when I got started in real estate, I was writing down the fact that I'm selling 12 million a year in real estate. Back then it was unbelievable. I could not imagine selling 12 million a year in real estate. That was a million a month. And back then I never even sold a million in a month to even have that you know thought creep in my mind. But what I did and what I still do to this day when I do not believe in myself or I lose disbelief or I get, I don't lose it. I just get into a state of mind. I get into a state of disbelief. No matter who you are, you always get it. It's going to punch you right in the face, your state of disbelief. And so what I do and what I've always done since I got into sales is I write my goals down. I wrote the most, I write the most unbelievable things down in my journal. I write down things that, you know, I keep a million dollars in my bank account at all times. I'm selling $41 million this year in real estate. I inspire others. I get invited to speak on stages and my kids watch me inspire and change people's lives. I create winners. I've been writing this stuff down for years, guys. And it's funny that the more I write things down, the more things start to happen. That 12 million a year I used to write down, I now do that by April to May. I do about 24 million a year in real estate sales, residential real estate sales now. And back then when I was writing down 12 million, I couldn't even imagine doing a million in a month. So when I get into a state of disbelief, I write things down, I write the unthinkable down. And then I read it back to myself. And I don't just do that. I grab onto the things that I've done in the past. I get a sense of feeling in my mind. I use my imagination of what the winning mindset feels like, of what actually accomplishing those goals, what it actually feels like. Because then it breaks that state of mind. Because your nervous system and your brain, they don't know the difference between what is real and what is not real. Your subconscious doesn't know the difference. So if I can create that sense of feeling that I am a winner, that I did win, that I did accomplish it, even if I haven't, it changes my state of mind. It breaks that state of disbelief. We're all capable of greatness. Everybody watching this, you're capable of greatness. Who the hell am I, Zach Kleindienst, to build a, a great business in a little town called York, Pennsylvania and then risk it all 
and moved down to South Florida to chase a lifestyle. All I had was the belief that I could do it. Why? Because I created that state of mind that I know I could do it. I know what it takes. I created that state of mind in my own mind before it even happened. And now here I am, beautiful, sunny South Florida, living the lifestyle I've always wanted, that I used to write down about. Now it came with a lot of state of mind of disbelief. My state of mind has been in a disbelief since I've, came, since I've come down here. It doesn't go away, I don't care who you are, you will get punched in the face with disbelief and the state of disbelief in yourself. Whether you're starting a new career, whether you wanna change jobs, whether you want to ask for a promotion, whether you want to do anything in life, you're going to get hit with a sense of disbelief. And it's how do you overcome that state of disbelief that's going to get you to the next level. Now again, we're all capable of success. We're all capable of doing big things. Things that other people don't think are believable or possible. And sometimes you got to just do that to show others that it is possible. And that's what I want to do. That's who I want to be. So if you guys are in a state of disbelief, I hope what I just shared with you can help you as well. It might sound corny, it might sound too easy. Write your things down. Get in a quiet place for five minutes, two minutes. But also, it comes down to your daily habits and how much do you really want something. I wanted this life in Florida. If I didn't want it that bad, my disbelief that I could make that move down to Florida would not have happened. I wouldn't have made the move to Florida. So guys, be great, be phenomenal. Whatever I can do to help you, please feel free to reach out to me. This is Zach Kleindienst. Let's go!